This year China is proposing to bring ketamine under international control, but as it is widely used as a medicine, many other governments and the World Health Organizations oppose the international control of ketamine. Mr. Chairman, the group notes with regret that the report of uh, World Health Organization Expert Committee on Drug Dependency concluded that the international control for ketamine is not really a necessary at present. In this regard, the group requests the Commission to further engage the ECDD for its reviewing the conclusion and further considering the necessity and urgency of establishing international control of ketamine. Ketamine is, as well as being a drug that's used by some people for pleasure, um, it's also a really important anaesthetic, particularly in parts of the developing world, the rural parts of the developing world. It's often the only anaesthetic available and the only one that's suitable. Um, you don't need laboratories or you don't even need a mains arrangement, no electricity to give it. It's quite safe, it doesn't restrict breathing and so on. So it's a really useful anaesthetic. There's been a lot of dispute between CND um, members and parties to the conventions about the legality of um, scheduling ketamine when WHO, which is mandated under the treaties, to advise on whether a substance requires scheduling or not has now three times recommended that ketamine doesn't require scheduling. It depends on one's interpretation of the treaties. For me and for many NGO colleagues and many country colleagues, it's fairly clear that um, to do so for CND to schedule when WHO has recommended against would actually be against the conventions. It would be illegal, effectively. So if we take, accumulate all, all existing evidence and what WHO has done, it's quite clear that not only placing ketamine in Schedule 1 on the list uh, will have a very negative um, public health impact, and I will not go into details, I think everybody understands why, but even placing ketamine in any other schedule will also limit accessibility and availability. And this, this is already, especially in low resource countries, and this is already against access to, to, to essential drugs, essential medications. This year China is proposing to bring ketamine under international control. What do you think about that? I think that it's not helpful to have drug by drug listed or brought forward for consideration for scheduling um, without WHO's support and adv advice and support. So I think it's, it's not helpful at this time to be looking at another drug and just uh, seeking to have it scheduled and uh, included in the conventions. Finally, the Commission has agreed to postpone the discussion on the international control of ketamine and asked the World Health Organization and other relevant institutions to continue to supply information regarding this issue.